Okay. We want to welcome everyone again to our virtual open house for our Masters of Science in Medicinal Chemistry. Today, we will briefly go over the academic program itself. We have one of our current graduate students, Xavier, here to talk to you guys about his student experience. And then we'll go over the admissions process for this program. Feel free if you have any questions to utilize the Q&A function. Um, we will be able to see those questions and answer them as they come through. Uh, generally, we like to hold questions to, to the end so we can get through the presentation. If you're joining us live today, thank you for joining us. If you're watching this later as a recording, we hope that you are able to get all the information that you need. But if not, you can also contact the admissions office after. So my name is Megan Troy. Many of you guys may have received a lot of emails from me um, regarding this program. I am the Assistant Director of Graduate Admissions for Helmholtz College, where our medicinal chemistry master's degree is located. And for the most part, if you are applying to this program, I'm gonna help you through your application process. Just a quick hello from our Dean of Helmholtz College. Uh, Dr. Holly Lynn Baumgartner is the Dean of our college here at Nova Southeastern University and of course shares a warm welcome with you all hoping to get you here to sunny South Florida for this medicinal chemistry program. So for our master's and graduate programs the Helmholtz College does offer quite a bit. Um, we have a master's degree in the arts with our composition rhetoric and digital media a number of programs in the sciences, including national security and international relations, biological sciences, marine sciences, conflict analysis and resolution, um, and of course, the medicinal chemistry that we are here for today. So for today, again, we are covering the topic of our Master's of Science in Medicinal Chemistry. And for our students that are joining us, this program is newly founded um, with our first cohort starting in fall 2024, uh, fall 2023, excuse me, and hoping to bring in our next class for fall 2024. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to our department chair for chemistry and physics, but also the program director for our medicinal chemistry program. So take it away for us, Dr. Reza. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for your interest in this uh, wonderful program. And the program is built to give a student a hands-on training. It's a two-year program. It uh, has got two different tracks. One is a track that is thesis. The other track that we have uh, is capstone. On a thesis track, the students will be um, doing research um, on campus with uh, uh, in a research lab. Uh, this is going to lead to thesis. Um, uh, conference presentations and most likely publications. This research could be on drug development, drug discovery, or even clinical trial. So the medicinal chemistry part of it then requires some uh, knowledge of organic chemistry, some knowledge of instrumentation, drug design, and how drugs are functioning. For that reason, the program has all those courses embedded in uh, from the chemistry part, which our department offers, and then from a pharmaceutical part, which is offered by College of Pharmacy. So this joint venture that we have between two colleges give a student a very good experience learning both part, both part of this um, medicine chemistry subject, which is a chemistry part of it, as well as the pharmaceutical part of it, which is a functional part of that, um, of uh, analyzing drugs or making new drugs. Now on the capstone track, the students will have opportunity to do internship in local companies. So they get hands-on training there, uh, they will do research there, and then they will be, um, again, presenting uh, the experience there uh, in, a, in a written format, and they're going to defend it. So that will be the capstone experience. So we, we are um, we, uh, eager to um, provide both opportunity to a student. So there's, there's a chance that a student can do both thesis and internship. Serena, today you're going to learn that our first graduate is, is exactly doing that, that has done, is uh, he is on the thesis option, but he's also has secured an internship um, to go to Germany to gain that extra hands-on experience. So, uh, so by that, let me welcome him 
so that he can tell you a bit about his experience with the program. Thank you, Dr. Reza. Hi, my name is uh, Xavier. Uh, so yes, I'm the first student in the program and um, I was really excited to join because uh, I wanted to do pharmacy at first, but after working in the pharmacy, it wasn't really something that I saw myself doing. And when I talked to uh, Dr. Reza about the program, I was really excited because it was something that I really wanted to explore on the other side of pharmacy, exploring uh, you know, drug development and most importantly, the research and development uh, aspect in it. Uh, right now, I am doing uh, the, the thesis with um, Dr. Graham over in the uh, collaborative research uh, facility. Uh, but there's a, a bunch of other faculty that um, you know, have a, a lot of good research into similar drug development, drug design, um, especially in the College of Pharmacy, there's um, a wide range that you could do for thesis. Um, I personally wanted to do capstone actually at the beginning, uh, and it was a long talk with uh, Dr. Reza uh, getting me to, uh, to, to, to do the thesis, but um, the capstone was something that was interesting to me uh, in that you would get practical experience. Uh, however, when I met my current uh, research uh, professor, she really was uh, convincing and she has very interesting research that I wanted to join in on and didn't wanna lose the opportunity. Um, and so, yeah, I'll be, Pending that thesis next semester or next in the next two semesters next winter, um, and uh, I'm excited if any of you join the program to uh, have some classmates. So uh, thank you again, Dr. Reza. And thank you again, Megan, for the opportunity today. You're welcome. Dr. Reza, if you want to talk a little bit about the um, just the general format of of the the program and the class scheduling. Absolutely. So, um, so we did talk about there's a two year program. Um, so I'll go exactly what that format that is on the top. So the courses are going to be um, uh, in culture pharmacy. Students will be joining other students from uh, pharmaceutical sciences class to the pharmaceutical sciences program. So they'll be in the same classes. So we have some um, shared courses with them. The courses are day courses. So we offer them in different time of the day. That gives a student opportunity now to also work as kitchen um, assistant for us. Um, so those are students who do teaching assistant, um, which, which give them some teaching experience, will also receive a stipend from from the department. Um, but again, we are trying to give all those sort of experiences from research experience on the campus, from uh, from practical experience in a company, as well as teaching experience here uh, within our department. So those uh, teaching assignments or labs, so students, master's students get a chance to teach undergraduate students the techniques that we use in the lab. So we have that in place. Again, since it's a partnership program with the College of Pharmacy, students will have opportunity to do research with us or doing research with the faculty from the College of Pharmacy or, or even faculty from, from our, our uh, collaborative research center. Um, so we have we have a lot of a lot of joint um, project with them. And so students have got wide wide range of projects they can choose from. So as um, as the program format was concerned. They said the thesis or capstone, both of them are leading to a, a written uh, um, pro, uh, written piece, which we call a thesis or capstone at the end. So in, a case, in that cases, we make sure that the student receives some guidance for the faculty. So in the capstone cases, we have a faculty advisor who help the student while they are within the company, gaining those hands-on experiences system with um, 
with literature review and understanding of what is the science behind the, what they do in a company. So we do have an advisor assigned to those courses as well. Their classes are very small sizes. Um, we do for certain courses, like biochemistry class, advanced biochemistry class, and students will be sitting with other master's students. So we create again that overlap with the programs so students can see what are they doing other programs. So we have that in College of Pharmacy program. Our students will be with them, with the students from the College of Pharmacy in their courses that again help them to see what they do in the program, which we like that. But the program alone has got it has got very small class sizes because we like to pay um, attention to what those students can do and 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 help them to reach the potential. So we keep our class sizes very small. And again, we talked about a department provides some fundings for students um, that could be in form of teaching assistantship. We also provide some assistance. Um, to um, to the students uh, if they need to attend conferences or if they need support for the research. So that's something also the department, department can provide. And again, it's a two years program. Uh, it starts, it has got fall, winter, and then the following year, again, fall and winter time. The summertime is students have the opportunity to go and apply the knowledge I've learned in the program um, by, for example, going to internship, which which I was, uh, Xavier is doing it this year, uh, going to Germany. So that is also, we have planned that, that as students in the summertime will receive some sort of experiences besides doing uh, this academic part of the program or lecture part of the program. So we also factored that in, that during the summertime, we, we, would, we would help the students to find those opportunities uh, so assist them to transition uh, to a different environment that could be in a company to learn those uh, techniques. So that's also keeping that in mind that we have that. And uh, and, and during summertime, of course, uh, students are welcome to uh, study um, the, the, the research to do, uh, uh, do the uh, literature review, and uh, students can also work with the research supervisor or if they're in the company already, do internship, they can continue that during the summertime too. But summertime is for the students to do in, in, in a program is it's not it's not a course we have no courses in summertime but summertime they're free to choose something different from what they do in this two years program but right, thank you megan back to you thank you Dabretha and xavier so the next important part of this presentation of course is the application process for our students, this program is a fall start only. So this basically means that the medicinal chemistry master's degree only begins in August of every year. So for our students that are currently applying, the application is open for fall 2024 and the application deadline is July 15th of 2024. And then it would repeat that for the next upcoming cycle. So if you are a junior in college now and you have an interest in this program, you would probably be applying for fall 2025 after you've graduated from your undergraduate program. And that application deadline will be July 15th of 2025. What's important is our students that are applying to this program must submit, of course, the NSU graduate application. There's a $50 application fee their official transcripts. This is from every college you've attended. You must submit an official transcript. And if you are an international student, you have to have your international transcripts submitted through NACES, a, a NACES approved organization or the West organization for an evaluation and translation. All academic transcripts must be submitted. If you are in your undergraduate program and you have not graduated yet, at the time of your application, you will still submit your transcript from your undergraduate institution. And if admitted, then your admissions would be provisional based off of you graduating from your undergraduate program. So once you've completed your program, you would send in another transcript. Two letters of recommendation. We do ask that one of these letters comes from an academic professor. So a professor that you've had in class before, we're asking for you to submit at least one recommendation coming from them. 
And then a personal statement. This does not have to be long, about 500 words, letting us know a little bit about yourself and then how you feel a master's in medicinal chemistry can help you in your career goals um, and how you see this program assisting you um, achieving those. Generally, we are looking for students that have a 3.0 or higher. But again, we understand that students will take a little time getting used to their, their selves in college. So we're looking at your science coursework overall, but we're looking at how you've done as an overall student. So we review each application on a case-by-case -case basis, but overall we are looking for those students that we think can excel in this program. So how the application looks for the most part is you will set up an account with NSU under the graduate admission um, application and then you will select the program that you're interested in. As you are filling out the application, it will ask for uh, biographical information. And then it will move on to your academic plans. This is where you will choose medicinal chemistry. If you are applying and it asks for your campus of study, it will either ask for the Fort Lauderdale Davie campus, or sometimes it will show up as the Oceanographic Center. That is okay. Our admissions office happens to be located on the Oceanographic Center. So for some reason, some of the applications pull that instead of the Fort Lauderdale Davy campus. This is an in-person program. It does take place on our Fort Lauderdale Davy campus. It will ask for your prior college information. So this is where you will put the institutions that you've attended. Um, if you've attended more than one, there is an add college function. So you would click that to each, at each of the schools you've attended. And like I mentioned, if you are a student that went to a non-US school um, internationally, you will submit your transcripts to a NASIS approved organization, such as WES, to get your transcripts evaluated. Once you've submitted your application, the academic um, admissions documents page should then become available to you. That is where you can put in that personal statement. You can upload it. And then that is also where you can submit the information for the people that you would like to submit um, recommendations for you. So you would start them, put in their contact information, and then from there, the system will um, send out information to them to let them know that you're requesting a letter of recommendation. If you already have a letter of recommendation um, on hand and you would like to submit that, that can be submitted directly to our admissions team and we'll get that into your file once your application is in. So if you haven't met some of us already, this is our graduate admissions team for Helmholtz College of Arts and Sciences. Um, generally, you will be working with me. Um, I primarily work with the students applying to the medicinal chemistry program. But if for some reason I am out of the office or um, I'm on vacation, uh, we have a great team that can also help you in your endeavors in getting into this program. So on the screen, I've included our general admissions email. It's hcasadmissions at nova.edu. The purpose of this email address is that any of us on our team can answer it. So if you send an email there, if for some reason I'm not in the office, um, one of my colleagues will go ahead and answer your request for you. And um, also, you can always reach us at our office. Um, we can transfer calls to one another if necessary. But on the screen, you can see our general admissions number as well. So very important is how much does the program cost? So the cost of attendance for currently for our Master's of Science is $14.73 per credit hour. But like Dr. Reza did state, our students have the opportunity to apply to be teaching assistants. And in that opportunity, you have some an option to have some of your tuition um, covered during your TA. So if you are a TA for some of our undergraduate chemistry courses, you will receive some a reduction in your mm -hmm. tuition, but you'll also receive a stipend. So a, a paycheck for the time that you are um, assisting teaching. Then outside of that, there are additional Helmholtz graduate scholarships that are available. And maybe teaching is not something you are interested in. There are other graduate assistantships that are available around the university and the campus and some within Helmholtz College themselves. So those are things you can also apply for once you've been admitted into the university. Oh, 
sorry, we're back. Okay, hopefully some of you guys are already following us on social media. This is a great way to find out about upcoming events that we're hosting, um, about upcoming deadlines approaching. So if you have not already, we are available on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and LinkedIn. So if you have any quick questions, you want to see what's happening in Helmholtz College and with some of our programs, this is a great way to find out. So if you're not checking your emails as frequently, you can always check our social media pages. And I do see that we have at least one question in our Q&A. So again, if you have any questions, you can put them into the question and answer and we'll go ahead and um, answer those. So for the first question we have is, what's the deadline for international students? So the deadline for all students for the medicinal chemistry program is July 15th. But my recommendation for international students is to try to have your applications in no later than the end of April. And I say this because if you have to have your transcripts evaluated, meaning you have not already done that, it does sometimes take a little bit of time to get the transcripts sent off to a NASA approved organization like WES, have them evaluate your transcripts, and then have them sent off to the institutions you're applying to. Also, another reason you want to have your application in as early as possible is once you are admitted, you can start the process of getting your I-20 in order with our Office of International Student Scholars. So it's important that you don't wait till the deadline because that may not give you enough time from the moment you are accepted into the program until the classes begin in August to get everything in order. So my recommendation for international students, especially if you haven't had your transcripts evaluated already, if they try to apply no later than the end of April for the fall semester, just so you give yourself time to get your transcripts done. But also if you are admitted, it gives you time to get your I-20 done with our Office of International Student Scholars. Are there any other questions? For me, Dr. Reza, for Xavier, And again, if you don't have questions right now or you want to ask questions a little later, feel free. You can email myself, um, Dr. Reza as well. You can reach out to us. We're happy to, um, to talk to all of our students or prospective students about this program. Um, I'm actually going to put my email address in the chat for everyone. And then Dr. Reza, if you would do the same, that would be great. And if you are not watching this live and you have questions after today, once you receive the email version of this recording, you can reply right back to the email that's provided. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay. I don't see any additional questions. So I would like to thank those of you that were able to join us live today. Um, I hope you got a plethora of information about the medicinal chemistry program here at Nova Southeastern University. I hope to see your application in our system shortly. If you're coming in for the fall 2024 class, then of course you need to get that application done no later than July 15th. And I encourage you all to look more into our program if you are interested, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you all for attending, and this recording will become available next 